Hey, what is up guys, Ninman2000 here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be doing my first Scratch tutorial, Scratch, Scratch 3.0 tutorial, on how to make a really cool 2D car game. So, let's just get straight into the video. First, what we want to do is make our backdrop, or our course, that the car is going to go around in. And I'm just going to, I have some backdrops um pre-made in my um in my backpack so i'm just gonna go ahead and drag those in so let's go costume one two three four and five just like that i have my own these backdrops will be in the link uh down below in the description so i will have those backdrops for you if you want to use them so uh let's get started with coding the background it's very very simple all we have to do is drag in a one key pressed block change it go scroll all the way down and set it to one and i named my backdrops on like numbers one through five so one two three four five um i have it like that i think you should too it just helps it or uh, organize so then you want to go to looks and when one key press switch backdrop to one and then you want to do that for all five so scroll all the way down when two key pressed switch backdrop to two when three key pressed switch back to three when four key pressed Switch backdrop to five, and you can do this. Uh, where, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> switch backdrop to five. Switch backdrop to four. There we go. And then switch backdrop to five. You can do this for as many as you want. All you can do like a hundred courses. Uh, hopefully that won't break your computer. But you can do as many as you want. Like the possibilities are endless. I just did, uh, like normal little course that you go around a turn here then another turn here then we have like a kind of x and then we have this weird t-shape diagonal t-shape so that's all i have and now if we run this you will see that here um i have when i hit one it changes two three four five perfect so now we have you can change the course for your car game and I'm just going to go ahead and save that because I don't want to, you know, <laughs> lose it. Um, so now we can get started with making our car sprite. So you want to go into here and select paint, but um, I'm not going to be using that. <laughs> so because I already have some costumes pre-made, just like for the backdrops, um, all of the the art i'm using in this video will be in the description below so i'm just going to go to backpack and drag in my costumes so um i have these two little costumes for cars i'm just going to call the normal one normal wait, 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 wait. <laughs> normal there we go and i'm going to call this one with the little blue flame at the back nitro so normal and nitro you should do this too if you don't want to add a nitro feature in uh that's fine that's perfectly fine but i would because it just makes the game kind of cooler so then we have normal and nitro uh i'll just switch it to normal for now so let's get started with coding so we're just gonna go to events drag in a one green flag clicked block we're gonna go to looks Switch costume to, you want to do your normal costume with the not nitro flame or whatever. Um, then we want to uh, drag in a go to, well actually let's just change the size uh, before we do that go to block. I'm going to change it to 13 because I think 13 works best. And I'm just going to put it in like right, let's do, wait, wait. Let's do 0, uh, 141. So, go to 0, 
141. Let's just click that real quick. Get it to the middle of the course, the top, middle. Looks pretty good. All right. Now, let's drag in a point in direction block. You want to keep that on 90. Then, you want to go into looks and say set size to whatever you set your size to. So, 13. Just like that. Set size to 13. Now you want to drag in a forever loop. Then you want to drag in an if then statement. And um, in that if then, go to sensing and say key. You want to do left arrow pressed. Just like that. And go to motion and say turn this way, this way, uh, five degrees. Then we can just duplicate that. Um, for those who don't know how to duplicate it, uh, blocks, you, you right click on it and hit duplicate and it'll duplicate it for you. Then we just want to do the same thing the other way. So when key right arrow pressed, turn the other direction five degrees. Perfect. So now if we go ahead and run this, you can see that we'll be able to turn our car. That's that's very good, but we can't move yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to events and when key press block, uh, we should drag in a one key press block. Go to control and say repeat until. Then go to sensing and say touching color inside of that repeat until, and you want to make this color the color of the the outside green so like that um, my color is probably gonna be different from your color if you're using my backdrop then you should just uh, go into the middle and just click it and you'll get that color so then we can just go into motion say move 2.5 steps so change that to 2.5 and then below that right here you want to say minus five move minus five steps so basically what this is doing um, i'll just walk you through what we have so far when the green flag is clicked we want to switch our costume to normal go to this position point in this direction that direction right there and set our size to 13 and if the left arrow key is pressed turn this way five degrees if the right arrow key is pressed turn the other way five degrees then when the space bar is pressed repeat until touching color so it, this is going to repeat forever until it's touching this color and it's just going to keep on moving 2.5 steps and if it is touching the color then you want to stop your car by moving minus five steps like that so then if we go ahead and test this just go ahead click the green flag and hit space you'll see that we can turn our car and when we hit the color when we hit the grass we stop that's really cool but there's still a, like uh, more features to add into our game like we can hit and then we can start up our car again by hitting space so that's cool but again, there are more features to add, so let's do that real quick. So then we want to go into sounds and let's get all the sounds we need because there's gonna be some sound effects in this game. So let's go to choose a sound. We want to search up engine, right here, engine. Okay, so then let's go into events. When space key pressed, let's go into sound play sound engine until done so when we do this we'll start up our car so that's nice i like that um it just adds like a little more to the game let's go into um well actually i think we should add the nitro feature now um all right yeah let's get started with the nitro feature so we're gonna make it for when you press the up arrow, so when up arrow key pressed, uh, move, just go to motion, 
move, let's say, 20 steps. That's good. Uh, then switch costume to Nitro, because you want to switch it over to your Nitro costume. Then, um, you want to go to sounds, and let's get a new sound. And that one is going to be car vroom, this one. Then you want to play sound car vroom until done under that switch costume to nitro. Then we have to wait a certain amount of seconds. So let's do uh, 3.2 seconds. And then you want to switch back to the other costume, the normal costume. So switch costume to normal. And now we should have a fully working nitro system. So let's hit space. Okay, we have our car startup. And when we hit the up arrow, we get a boost. And we have that like blue flame costume. And we can switch the course around with two and three, four, and five. Awesome! This game is looking really cool. The only thing we have to add is, um, let's do, yeah, alright, so, events, when down arrow key is pressed, let's go into sounds, and we can go to choose a sound, car, uh, car horn, just like that, car horn. And you guessed it, play sound car horn until done. So we can honk with the down arrow. And that is pretty much it for our simple car game. You can add whatever you want to this game. You can make it mobile friendly. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can make a character customization. But this is just the basics of making a little car game. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Let's just go into with this green flag clicked. Switch backdrop. Two. Let's just do one, because that's the first one. Just like that. And now, I'll just save that. Let's go full screen. Now we have our completed car game. So let's hit space. Now we can change the course with... Oh. So when this happens, you can just keep hitting space. And you'll get back onto the course. It's a bug that I can't fix. I don't know why it happens, but um, let's just start. Two or three? Let's let's start on three. That okay? Four, uh, five, and now we can use well to start our car. And we can nitro. And we can also honk with the down arrow. So, that's pretty much it for our simple car game. You can add whatever you want to this. You could add cloud variables to make it an online multiplayer game. But do whatever you want to it. This is just a really simple design for it. If you want the link to my game, it will be in the description below. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks, guys, and see you in the next video.